What's going on guys? Jacob Orth back here with another video of Jacob's Life in Vegas coming to you guys from the most famous street in the world, although it's not a very uh, busy most famous street in the world today. And I got a topic for you guys on this nice, bright, warm day here in July in Las Vegas. But I think it's going to do very well here on the channel because we're going to be talking about Nevada Governor Steve Sisolak. We're going to be talking about Governor Sisolak, some of the actions he has taken recently, or actually say some of the actions he's taken since the start of this whole pandemic. Uh, people that have been really upset by his actions. I have a list here and it's quite a list of people that have not been happy with what he's done, uh, some things that we could possibly be looking forward to in the future. We're going to be talking about California Governor Gavin Newsom in this, and we're also going to be asking a question at the very end. I'll have a question for you guys asking really um, what you think about all this. So go ahead, subscribe to this video. I'm in year number seven of doing this. Subscribe if you haven't done so yet. Hit the bell, hit the all for notifications, and give the thumbs up. If I get 5,000 thumbs up on this video, that's the goal I have. That's the goal I want to reach in this video. And I got many other goals I'm working towards right now. So I appreciate all the help from everyone watching. Now, let's jump into this. Talking about Governor Steve Sisolak here in Nevada. So he's been the governor now. He won our last election, and he's actually the first uh, Democratic governor we've had in the 21st century here in Nevada. It's been nothing but Republicans uh, for years here in Nevada, for about 20 years, and he was the first one to actually win as a Democrat in this century. So politicians are really taking a lot of heat right now when it comes to the decisions that are being made, how it's been handled with this whole pandemic or pandemic, as some people like to call it, uh, with this whole virus situation, because, you know, we the people are the ones that are uh, impacted by some of the decisions that are made by, you know, state governors and our higher up uh, politicians when it comes to orders they give, mandates they give, and things like that. And for Governor Sisolak, uh, it's a big decision coming up. You know, the biggest one people are concerned about is whether or not Las Vegas is going to be closed again. It's going to be shut down again. And really that means shutting down the entire state of Nevada again, which obviously would be very hurtful for our uh, economy here in the state, but it's a tough decision to make. And, you know, really no matter what Governor Sisolak decides to do, he's going to essentially be screwed where people are going to be criticizing him no matter what, right? It doesn't matter what he does. And I think people in politics are very well aware of that, that no matter what you do, uh, you're going to be getting lots of criticism from people, especially since this virus has become really a very partisan issue because you have some people who think it's very real and these numbers that we have going on right now are scary. You have other people who think it's a complete hoax. And then you have people who just think like they don't know what to think anymore. They just like don't know what to think anymore because there's so much conflicting information about what's taking place. Let's talk about how the situation has really been handled since the beginning of this pandemic and going from the shutdown and going forward and how it's impacted lots of people and how you know so many different groups of people, um, you know, broadly speaking, are very much upset with Governor Sisolak and the decisions he's made. A lot of them are just pissed off at him, and some of them, some of them have been pissed off multiple times at him for decisions he's made or things um, that he's done. And you know, I got the list here and let's just go first off when it comes to closing down the idea of even shutting down in the first place right obviously the casinos don't want to shut down so casino owners they're not happy with shutting down because obviously it cuts off their revenue cuts off their income you can't make money when you're shut down and you're out of business other things same thing for other business owners smaller business owners medium business owners um, they want to stay down, want to keep their business going, especially if they're one who wasn't making a bunch of money already or they were newer in their business. They were newer and they didn't have a whole bunch of money saved up and they didn't know that, hey, if they shut down, they're pretty much going out of business. Uh, a lot of people who are Republicans didn't want to shut down. A lot of people who are more conservative didn't think so. That would be a good idea because um, they think the whole thing is a hoax. A lot of them just don't believe this. They don't believe uh, what's taking place or um, they don't believe that the numbers are as real as they are. They think they're exaggerated, whatever the case is. Now we go down the road here, we reopen, right? We're shut down. A lot of people aren't happy. Some people say, hey, it's necessary. We reopen, but we reopen without a mandate to wear a mask because Governor Sisolak was concerned that there was going to be too much backlash over it. I understand. I don't think it's a matter of the face covering. I think it's a matter of people not wanting to be told what to do. Uh, that's why we did not make it a mandate. So we reopened without a mask mandate, which ended up pissing off a lot of people who were Democrats. So people who are Republican oftentimes think this is a hoax. The numbers are inflated. People who are Democrat tend to think that this is very real. This is very legitimate. We need to take this very seriously. So a lot of people who are Democrats and we reopened, but without a mask mandate, thought that, hey, we should be wearing masks this entire time. And now three weeks later, the mask mandate comes into effect. So people who are Democrats are like, okay, 
feel like we should have been doing this the whole time. And the mask mandate comes in. Republicans are pissed off again now because they feel like this is a hoax and we shouldn't be forced to wear masks by our governor. Shortly after the mask mandate came out, you have lots of small business owners and medium business owners who are upset with Governor Sisolak because of the eviction process. So individuals had their evictions for rent uh, where they couldn't, if you couldn't pay your rent, you couldn't be evicted. They actually extended that to September 1st from July 1st. But commercial eviction, so if you're a business and you're renting out commercial space and your business has been closed, then you could start being evicted on July 1st. You did not get an extension if you were a business owner. So individuals got an extension, but business owners did not, which is tough because lots of businesses, last time I checked, are owned by an individual or a group of individuals. So, if, you know, you can't afford to pay your rent as an individual and your business is closed, how are you going to be able to afford to pay your rent if your business is not even open? So that, you know, pissed off lots of business owners here in Southern Nevada. Bar owners were the next one because we had bars shut down in seven counties here in Nevada. So bars getting shut down uh, across the state of Nevada and their gaming was shut down as well. So if they're just a bar with gaming, they had to shut down the bar and shut down the gaming. If they're a restaurant, they could stay open and serve food at the restaurant. But part of the problem that the bar owners had is they said, well, hey, how come we have to shut down our bar and our gaming when convenience stores can stay open with their gaming, the casinos can stay open with their gaming, there's gaming still going on at the airport right now. So like they say, then they end up filing for an injunction against it because they feel like they're being unfairly treated and unfairly targeted by this. So, you know, when you shut down all the bars like that, that winds up upsetting people and especially a lot of bar owners who said, hey, we're following the rules. Like we follow regulations that were set forth. So why not just shut down the bars that were breaking regulations and let the ones who were following regulations stay open? But no, the choice was made just to shut down all of them. So now you have even more people pissed off at you for how that went down. And then you have small businesses, small business owners who are upset with getting uh, fines for employees or customers not wearing masks, which gets into a debate of you know public versus private property like your home is private property your business you own your business you own the land on your business you own property that is your private property and they can't always govern it the same way that they do public versus private so i remember seeing on um instagram or twitter when the mask mandate came out a business owner posting saying that nobody inside of his business is allowed to wear a mask uh, because you know it's his private property so that can kind of become a debate of public versus private property how much enforcement the government uh, has over private property, how much they can enforce something inside of your business, inside of your property that you own as an individual person. Now, another huge one, this is quite possibly the biggest one of all that pisses off the most people is when it comes to the unemployment and how that has been handled here in Nevada. Because you have thousands of people trying to collect unemployment. Really, it's just been a fiasco. Uh, it's been just such a mess, led to a class action lawsuit um, to force the department to do its job. Uh, Governor Sisolak replaced the director, we got a new director in, and then she steps down because she was saying that she was receiving too many threats, uh, largely because they're so backed up in the process. People have been trying to get unemployment, and they're getting it late, or they're still fighting to get it, and people are just getting really pissed off about the whole thing. Now, Governor Sisolak did waive the work search requirement, and he did get rid of the seven-day wait period um, for people to approve to approve unemployment insurance to try to get it to people quicker so he was taking steps or was trying to do something to help out with that process but it just been so the problem the problem had become so big and negatively impacted so many people i think there's still a lot of people that are more upset with it than they are happy with what has taken place and then obviously now when it comes to the reopening and things not going very well, you have a lot of Democrats pissed off at Sisolak again because they think he reopened too soon. They think the mask should have been mandatory from the beginning. So there are numerous groups that have been upset multiple times uh, throughout this whole process, the choice that have been made, the way it's been handled at the state level, the way it's impacted uh, millions of people across the state of Nevada. So right now, I mean, it's a tough spot to be in. And as we look at the situation going forward, it's really, as, as a lot of people would say, it, it's just a mess, okay? It really is a mess that we have going on here in Nevada, here in Southern Nevada, in the Las Vegas area right now. And because the reopening is not going well, we're obviously been taking steps backwards in that process. Um, we have, you know, at least one restaurant who decided just to close on their own because they felt it was the right thing to do. You have the Palazzo, which is, um, I think in later this month in July, they're not going to be taking any weekday reservations because the demand is simply not there for them. So they're gonna be closing the weekdays, not taking weekday reservations. So that is obviously not going well. Um, we have been taking really 
more steps. We're inching our way closer to a shutdown, you know, at least as of the recording of this video, because we reopen, then you have to wear masks, and then you have to shut down bars. And you know, you can't keep taking steps backwards like that in the reopening process. And I mean, eventually you take enough steps backwards, you get to the point where you do just shut down again. So will we get to that point? I don't know. And this next step for this, I mean, you shut down bars, people can still dine indoors, but I mean, the only next step I could see if we're gonna be inching closer to a shutdown would probably be uh, like California has done, which is you can only dine outdoors now. So that's been the case in California recently is now you can only dine in places where they have outdoor seating or patio seating. You can't, see, uh, you can't sit indoors right now, which brings me to the point of California and the situation because a lot of people feel that Governor Sisolak is really just following what Gavin Newsom does, the governor of California. A lot of people think that Governor Sisolak is just looking to California and if California does this, then Nevada should follow. They think that if California makes something a new rule, a new mandate, that Governor Sislak is just going to follow whatever Gavin Newsom does. So okay, with California being an even worse situation than we are in Nevada, a lot of people are concerned that, you know, we're going to wind up being in that same situation, that we're going to wind up being under the same mandates, uh, that we're going to go, you know, backwards to where closing gyms again, to where, you know, it's only essential businesses that are open and things like that. And even when it came to essential businesses, who was essential, who was not? A lot of businesses were upset with how that played out. They wanted to be considered essential and they weren't, or some I know, um, when it comes to like, also when it comes to following California, uh, some places in California, they tried to close down gun stores. They said they weren't essential, even though it is your right to own a firearm. Where here in Nevada, Governor Sislak did not deem them essential, but he also just didn't say that they were not essential, just left them off the list. So a lot of gun stores, a lot of firearm owners uh, feel that, you know, he wasn't really doing what he could to protect people's Second Amendment right as a Nevadan or as a citizen of the United States. So there's been a lot of chaos going on in recent months, to say the least. And, you know, a lot of people just, you don't know what to expect anymore. You know, people think that whatever California does, we're going to wind up following that. And, you know, Sisolak knows he's going to get uh, criticized regardless. There was a tweet he put out. Um, or a tweet I saw about that where he says, you know, no matter what he does, he's going to get criticized. And it's very much a part of being in politics. So I really want to hear what you guys have to say about this because a lot of you have been following this a lot. Whether you live in Nevada or you don't, a lot of you have been following this. And I think a lot of tourists who normally would not even know the governor's name of Nevada, they just come here to party, have fun, enjoy the vacation, relax. A lot of them know the name now. A lot of them know that, you know, Steve Sislak is our governor here in Nevada. His name has been circulating a lot because a lot of these choices, all these mandates come from him. They come from Carson City. And the decisions made up in Carson City are going to have a huge impact on what goes on here in Las Vegas, here in Clark County, here in Southern Nevada, and here in the state of Nevada in general. So guys, like the video, give it that thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't done so yet, because I know there's a lot more to come this summer here in Las Vegas. This is a crazy time here in Las Vegas, here in Nevada, and a crazy time all around the world. So subscribe. That is it for this video. I am Jacob. This is my life in Vegas.